Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I am going to be working on an Ansible application and that uh, Ansible application will install the uh, Nginx server on the Ubuntu. So this is the thing that I'm going to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do as you can see here that I'm present in the directory Ansible Nginx that I created and inside this directory, uh, let me just uh, write like uh, first of all the file that I'm going to write is uh, but before uh, making this file, let's go to the repository and I will create a repository here and that will be fine for me. So let's create a repository and the repository name is going to be the same in Ansible Nginx like this. And uh, after that, let's write the readme file and let's write the Apache license, create a repository. Yeah, so now this repository is done. So what I will do here, I will just uh, copy the link here. And uh, let me just uh, go back to here and delete rm, um, uh, rmdr, dir, and civil nginx like this. Now this will be fine here. If I write uh, what you can say ls, you will see that there is no directory by the name of civil uh, nginx. So let me just... Uh, I'll copy and then uh, write what you can say uh, git clone uh, git clone and paste this all right so now this is done let me just close this open the terminal again so now this time it is working fine because if I show you ls you will see that this is the Ansible clone that is now sorry uh, Ansible nginx that is now uh, working so let's write Ansible uh, nginx so if i type git status you will see that there is no status and if i type git branch you will see that there is only one branch so yeah this was the thing that i was talking about uh, to be uh, to the uh, to install the git by default uh, or to in the, give the branch by uh, uh, after cloning that repository so yeah let's uh, create a file by the name of install nginx Mm, dot yaml and inside this uh, what i will do i will write um, what you can say uh, first of all three uh, dots he, that will show that the yaml file is started and let's write hosts that will be web server web server and then let's write become that will provide the sudo privilege and let's write what you can say tasks that will be the tasks and uh, let's give it, it a name like or what the name should be like um, uh, install sorry install nginx and then it would be like uh, apt and inside this apt i will write name nginx that is going to be the software that is to be installed and the state is going to be present means this and this should be present here uh, after that let's write name again and this time it would be start nginx uh, let's write apt or instead of writing apt i will write service and one thing i have forgotten is to write the service here like service uh, after that inside the service i will write name nginx uh, state start start it like this so now this is how it will work so let's uh, save this and I'll create another file hosts dot ini so inside this I will create write a web server I will declare the web server and based on this web server the Ansible will install the nginx and start it all right so let's write localhost because this is what my machine is i don't want to mention another uh, server so yeah ansible connection is going to be locally or so i will write local and then ansible python interpreter because this is required that's why i'm doing it so python interpreter is going to be uh, what you can see user bin uh, and python 3 yeah so let's save this and now let's write ansible playbook playbook i hosts uh, dot ini and then uh, install nginx and that is the file name dot yml so it is giving me some error uh, to remove it so 
let's check what kind of error is this so let's run this command with the sudo privilege also so let's clear this and uh, this time i will write k so k is to give the password like the local machine password that you want to give so i will give the password here so now this time it should work so yeah it is working fine so yeah i have forgotten that uh, with the key you have to give the local machine password from uh, where the web server is and after that it will run properly so now this time if i go to the chrome browser and write localhost only you will see that the nginx is working fine so yeah this is how it will work and uh, now this is done and after that what i will do here i will write git add git commit and then uh, let's write uh, what you can say um, uh, create uh, in install the um, nginx server on the local machine uh, local machine using uh, what you can say uh, um, using ansible like this git push origin me so yeah this is how it will work so yeah, this is done now. Let's go to the Ansible server. So as you can see here that this is done now. So yeah, so that's it for now. I hope you liked this video. So if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.